video will be about uh, vaccination. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So um, before that, I attribute this uh, video to Prof. Uh, Jemmy for such a wonderful um, talk that she gave to us about vaccinations. And the question from MOG uh, exam is, um, the question uh, is, discuss the role of vaccinations in pregnancy. So as for the introduction, of course, uh, vaccination is very important. It is one of the most effective ways to prevent a infectious disease, especially the um, vaccine pre preventable disease. So when we talk about vaccinations during pregnancy, we are not only referring to the protections for the benefits of the mother, but also as a uh, passive immunity to the fetus because the mother produces immune uh, antibody and then it will trans placenta transfer to the fetus. So the, the fetus will be uh, protected from that disease. So when we talk about, when we think about the long that lines, so um, there are a few um, vaccination that is actually recommended during pregnancy. As for Malaysian, we have tetanus uh, vaccinations that are routinely given to all our pregnant ladies. It's a, it was a two doses, but the recommendation nowadays is to give a DTAP. It's a diphtheria, tetanus, and also pertussis in a one injection. So it has one, one dose of injections. So it is recommended to be given at the 27 to 36 week previously. But nowadays they have a recommendation to be, to be given earlier because the aim, the role of the DTAP vaccination is actually not, not uh, to protect the mother only, but it is also to it is mainly to protect the newborn because we know that the vaccinations for DTAP in our national guideline is to give the baby of the two month old, but they are very susceptible to this infection if they get a pertussis at, or during the first month of life. Usually, it's associated with a higher rate of eye and eye admissions and developing pneumonia and some in severe disease they can develop seizure and death. So basically, the reason why the vaccination was given to the uh, pregnant lady is uh, to protect and to produce a passive immunity so that protect the new, newborn. So um, the, 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 the uh, recommendations to uh, adult uh, people is to get the vaccinations every 7 to 10 years. But uh, of course, uh, women during pregnancy is very susceptible to this uh, disease as well. So pertussis is caused by Bordetella pertussis. So in neonates, usually it contains three um, stages. So the first one is predormal, usually predormal, usually seven to ten days where they become infective, and after that, um, the the whooping stage where the, the neonates will start to have a severe whooping cough. Uh, and uh, the third one is convalescence. Um, so that is why the aim of the DTAP is to be given during second trimester and above. So uh, another role, for example, influenza viral, uh, uh, influenza vaccination, which also recommended in during pregnancies because Influenza is a disease in Malaysia. We don't have season, so it's not a seasonal disease for Malaysian. It's a it's a all year round disease. So uh, during pregnancy, women can uh, be very susceptible to this disease, and it's associated with the uh, ICU admissions in the women, and then uh, they will have a risk of developing a preterm birth and also uh, fetal growth restrictions. So uh, for this, uh, so that is why it's very important to protect our women. So it is recommended to be given after 12 weeks. Basically, it can be given at any trimester, but uh, the women become more susceptible during the uh, third trimester. So usually uh, during 28 weeks, usually if they get infected, then it will be a severe conditions. So that is why the recommendation is to be given much earlier than 20 weeks. So um, of course, um, there is no issue of giving uh, the vaccinations influenza uh, at the first trimester during the organogenesis, but 
if you're concerned about this uh, risk, then you can delay a bit up to after 12 weeks. Um, so as you can see, the, the aim of the influenza and DTAP is much different because the DTAP is to protect the neonate, but the influenza is to protect the mother so it can be given earlier. In terms of the safety, basically, it is safe to give vaccinations apart from the life attenuated vaccine. So what, what what is the example of life attenuated vaccine? For example, BCG for uh, TB. And then we have MMR, so uh, measles, mum, and rubella, and varicella zoster. It is all all of this is a life attenuated vaccine, which is not recommended to be given uh, for pregnant lady, but uh, a recombinant immunoglobulin mRNA vaccine, and also um, inactivated virus or toxoid. Uh, is safe to be given during pregnancy. So, uh, 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 vaccinations like COVID-19, uh, nowadays we have the pandemic where we can see that regardless uh, any trimester, the, month, the, the, the women can easily infect it and the fact that sometimes they can become a category 4 5 and it's associated with the FGR and they have a higher 2 3 falls of developing uh, a preterm birth. So it is previously recommended in Malaysia to be given at the women 14 weeks to 33 weeks because they want to avoid these periods of ergonogenesis at 12, the first 12 weeks and 33 weeks they don't want to um, to uh, they don't want the data that collects uh, from the vaccination says that it associated with the preterm birth. So it was previously recommended as such. But nowadays, uh, the recommendations just like RCOG, the Malaysia also follow RCOG where it is recommended to, to be given at all trimester and it is safe. So generally, if it's a Pfizer vaccination community, usually it is a three weeks dose. Uh, of course, uh, for the uh, Sinovac, Oh, AstraZeneca, it has a different uh, uh, schedules, uh, but it's a two doses in general. Um, and uh, for COVID-19, what is, what is important is that um, at this point of time, for us to develop a herd immunity, it takes about 85% and we still not reach such number of vaccinations in Malaysia. Okay, what about pneumococcal? So pneumococcal is uh, not contraindicated during pregnancy. It's a recombinant, so it is safe to be given during pregnancy. But usually pneumococcal is uh, just a uh, once-in-a-lifetime dose. So if uh, women uh, plan to travel or, uh, to an endemic area, so it is best to be given during that pregnancy because the, if uh, she contracted with the disease, it will be very severe. Just like when we want to uh, travel to Arab country, like um, pneumococcal and meningococcal is something that's mandatory. So it is not contraindicated during pregnancy and it is safe. So we have to advocate the vaccinations to the pregnant lady who plans to travel to those endemic area. So um, I think um, uh, the, the, the only contraindications for vaccination is actually the uh, um, hypersensitivity. So as long as the mother is, does, does not develop any hypersensitivity, so basically it's, it is safe and can be given to the mother. Um, breastfeeding, of course, the pregnant lady should uh, be counseled regarding the vaccinations in breastfeeding. Basically, most of the vaccinations, either lift or killed uh, or uh, inactivated vaccine, can be given safe during pregnancy, except for one, which is the uh, yellow uh, fever vaccine. However, if um, there is no way to avoid those vaccinations, we should advocate vaccinations, but avoid breastfeeding for a while. And as a conclusion is that our ladies is actually, pregnancy itself is an immunosuppressive um, a period. So we have to protect our pregnant ladies because anyhow, if they get the infections, it will be much more severe as compared to the non-pregnant populations and prevention is always better than cure. Thank you.